Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at nbt.prd.go.th. I'm k a c h a n g w i t a j i t Today we are celebrating the Thai women's badminton team's historic achievements, exploring Thailand's innovative medical aid initiative for foreign tourists, and discussing the strengthening of international relations through mutual visa exemptions with Australia. And these stories not only highlight Thailand's sports achievements, but also showcase the country's dedication to tourist safety and its proactive approach in fostering global partnerships. Starting off our show today, we are going to be celebrating the Thai women's badminton team, which recently made history by securing the runner-up title at the 2024 Asian Team Badminton Championships. And this remarkable achievement not only、um, signifies Thailand's growing prominence in international badminton. It also highlights the team's potential for future success. And with the team gearing up for the upcoming Uber Cup and take part in various European tournaments, their journey exemplifies the spirits of dedication and the pursuits of excellence. And the milestone is really a testament to the talents of Thai athletes and the country's commitment to nurturing sports at the highest levels. Now, Thailand's badminton team's success is truly a source of national pride. And an inspiration for aspiring athletes in the future. And in our final story today, we are going to be focusing on Thailand's commitment to tourist safety through the launch of a 50 million baht medical funding initiative to assist foreign tourists in case of accidents. This groundbreaking program underscores Thailand's dedication to creating a safe and welcoming environment for international visitors. And by offering financial assistance in the events of accidents or emergencies, our country aims to boost tourist confidence and score its reputation as a top travel destination. And the initiative not only highlights the importance Thailand places on tourist welfare, but also sets a benchmark for hospitality and safety in global tourism. Meanwhile, Thailand and Australia are having talks regarding a mutual visa exemption scheme. And this promising development aims to ease travel between the two nations, fostering stronger business ties and encouraging cultural exchange. The talks held during the visits of Australia's Governor General to Thailand、uh, really showcase the deep-rooted friendship and share goals of both countries. And by facilitating smoother travel, this initiative could significantly boost tourism and economic cooperation, showcasing Thailand's openness. And its strategic efforts in enhancing international relations. And from the badminton courts to tourist safety initiatives and fostering international ties, today's episode of Thailand Outlook has covered a range of topics that really highlight Thailand's achievements and aspirations on the global stage. Up next, we have Swadhi Thailand by Kun Nawarat Bong Araya. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. อังกจังวิทย์จิตสวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the enchanting world of สวัสดี Thailand, your passport to the land of smiles. I'm Nawarat Wong Araya, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this exciting journey through the diverse landscapes, rich cultures, and vibrant festivals that make Thailand truly one of a kind. Today we're embarking on a virtual journey to see s a k e t Province, an often overlooked gem filled with hidden treasures. Let's dive into the lesser-known attractions that make s i s a k e t a must-visit destination. Beyond the renowned Luang Poto statue, the Sea of Mist at Pa Mo I Dang, and Wat Pa Maha J D Gao, s i s a k e t holds more surprises for the curious traveler. Our first stop. h u a Wang Yai Waterfall is nestled in the Panom Dong Rak Wildlife Sanctuary. h u a Wang Yai Waterfall, a hidden gem surrounded by rare species of trees, offers a tranquil escape. With its five-meter height, the water gently cascades from the top basin to the deep bottom basin, creating a serene atmosphere. Visitors can revel in the beauty of the falls. Play in the water or simply relax amid the rock field. 
and don't forget to explore the area's diverse flora with over 1,000 species of trees. And the best times to visit are during the rainy season and winter seasons. Next on our Sisa Gate adventure is the picturesque Gasi Salai Dam, a massive concrete structure that not only captivates with its beauty, but serves a vital purpose in the Kong Chi Moon Diversion Dam project. Rasi Salai Dam stands as a testament to human ingenuity, blocking the Moon River to combat water shortages in the northeastern region. Take a moment to soak in the infinite view of the river and the surrounding greenery. Open throughout the year, the dam invites you to unwind and enjoy the soothing flow of water. Now, let's turn our gaze towards the breathtaking Pa Mo I Dang, a viewpoint offering a mesmerizing sea of fog surrounded by majestic mountains. This must-visit spot provides an unparalleled view of Phnom Dong Rak Mountains, Myanmar's lowland, and even the Prawihan Temple, just a kilometer away. Open year-round, witnessing the sunrise from Pa Mo I Dang is a magical experience. Foreign visitors are charged a modest fee, while Thais can enjoy the view at even more affordable rate. After basking in the natural beauty of Sisaket, it's time to explore a unique spiritual site, which is Wat Pramaha Dedi Kao, a temple adorned with over one million glass bottles. This extraordinary temple, conceived by the creative mind of monk Prakruwiwek Tamatan, is a true masterpiece. From the main hall to the restrooms, every inch of the temple is a testament to creativity and dedication. Open year-round also, the entrance is free, offering a chance for spiritual reflection amid the shimmering beauty of glass bottles. Sisaket, with its waterfalls, stunning viewpoints, and a unique spiritual site, provides a diverse range of experiences for every traveler. So, pack your bags, embark on this adventure, and let Sisaket unveil its secrets. And that is all for this episode of Sawadee Thailand, where the journey is as delightful as the destination. Until next week, Sawadee ka! The ASEAN Blue Economy Forum 2023 was held successfully in July in Indonesia's Tanjung Pandan Bangkam Belatung Islands and discussed the importance of the blue economy as one of ASEAN's economic cooperation priorities. The blue economy involves the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth and improved livelihoods while preserving the health of the ocean ecosystem. With water covering more than 66% of Southeast Asia, the blue economy has great potential to become an engine of ASEAN development, especially in lower middle income countries and communities. The blue economy proposed by Indonesia is a continuation of the ASEAN Leaders Declaration on Blue Economy, which was introduced in Brunei Darussalam in 2021 as a collective effort of ASEAN member states to mitigate the impact of COVID-19. In 2021, the ASEAN Leaders Declaration re-emphasized the blue economy and the need for sustainable, resilient, and inclusive management and conservation of marine and coastal ecosystems for economic growth in sectors that include fisheries, aquaculture, maritime transport, renewable energy, tourism, and research and development, while improving human well-being and social equity. As ASEAN Chair, Indonesia is committed to implementing the ASEAN Blue Economy Framework as one of the priority economic deliverables. A total of 645 guests participated in the GEO Venture events, along with 288 guests during the main events and the launching of the Indonesia Blue Economy Roadmap and the ASEAN Ministerial Panel on ASEAN's view on the blue economy. In July 2023, the ASEAN Blue Economy Forum 2023 series of activities was started to achieve the goals and vision of Indonesia 2045. Indonesia launched the Indonesia Blue Economy Roadmap 2023 to 2045 to establish a diverse and sustainable maritime economic path. The roadmap also serves as a guide for the implementation of the blue economy to enhance economic transformation towards Indonesia's 2045 vision and provide guidance for realizing a sustainable marine economy for further economic integration in ASEAN. 
Therefore, this framework is meant to complement ASEAN's Vision 2045, the ASEAN Carbon Neutrality Strategy, the ASEAN Regional Plan for Combating Marine Debris, and other ASEAN initiatives. The implementation of the Blue Economy is expected to provide Indonesia with a new source of growth and strengthen resilience for the nation's future generations.